ArcelorMittal Mines Canada at a time back in 2010 when iron ore prices were roughly in the neighborhood of $180 to $200 a ton. It, it was agreed upon that we were to move production from about a 14 to 16 million ton operations to over and above 30 and 32 million tons a year. The effect of that downstream along the supply chain is we immediately started to realize we didn't really invest what was required, for example, at our port facility. How are we going to push those tonnages if they actually make it? And that's when we realized we had to start doing things differently, look at the supply chain. And we knew we had some maintenance issues. We need better information at the right time. And we need to react very, very quickly because every time we stop, it's going to be very hard to make it up. The problem is, is that everything was siloed up. Now we need to have everybody talk to each other and collaborate to make sure that that entire supply chain from mine to port gets the right stuff at the right time, shipped in the right order. We needed to have a way of getting all our processes and assets along that supply chain and in effect, templatize it or model it in a way that it's standard you can assign different attributes to it and follow that. So for us, it was a matter of getting into AEF. So AEF and uh, event frames, to bring that additional context to the data we already possess, pulling in data from additional either legacy systems or different planning systems that we already had in place, and then present it to users or use it in external systems, external planning systems, for example what we now call our, our Pi infrastructure, we've termed it our, our, in effect our enterprise data hub. So everybody involved in all of these processes see the same thing and, and understand what their contribution means. I believe we really got involved, uh, people involved and engaged in trying to hit those, those targets. It increases competitiveness. Uh, it's great when they start hitting their targets. They can see that instantaneously. People start, I think, playing on that winning team. Uh, for us, it would probably at least translate it into an extra three million tons of production. The fact that we actually proved that some of this was possible and, uh, and we were able to demonstrate those results, well, now there's a lot more interest and, and a lot more believers.